Today's the big day. Today is the day that we put our two flocks of chickens together. We have our existing flock of our nine hens. We're gonna combine with our five olive egg chickens that are now about 13, 14 weeks old. And we're gonna see how this process goes. All right, everyone, you guys have new guests, okay? Treat them nice. Everything's gonna be okay. No, you guys are leaving, you don't like that idea? So far, these chickens have showed the new chickens no attention at all, so they're not really getting any kind of accustomed to each other. So we'll see what has to happen. Our goal is for like the last like hour of the night, we're gonna let them out and see how they do. And then what's probably gonna happen is those chickens are gonna go back into that tractor. These chickens are probably gonna go back into their coop. I think at nighttime, what we're gonna do is grab those chickens and put them in the coop so that they really get accustomed to each other than just cross our fingers that they come out of the coop in the morning, okay? Before we can do that though, this roosting bar that I have behind us fits our nine chickens good, but it's not gonna fit 14 chickens. So I'm gonna have to add in some extra length here and get more room so that we can fit more chickens in here. the roosting bar now to go all the way across on each side up and down there so plenty of room now we could probably even have a few more chickens i'm not saying that because i want more i think i actually want to slow down but chelsea wants to take a turn and try to buy the next amount of chickens so who knows we might come home with four or five of them soon all right for the past hour these chickens have been roaming right next to the chicken tractor these other chickens have been right on the edge of it, just kind of looking at them. So if there was ever a time that they kind of got used to each other, it was right that second. There was a few of these chickens during this time when we let the little chickens free range in our backyard a little bit. These chickens escaped, so there has been a few encounters, but there's probably about four or five of these nine chickens that haven't met those chickens yet. But I think it's time just to release them and see what happens. I know that some people like to wait for nighttime and then they just accept them when they wake up in the same coop. It just freaks me out to think that what's going to happen inside that coop when you can't see. But this might not work either and this is why you try your own stuff and see what happens sometimes. You can't always listen to what everyone else is saying. Sometimes you just got to go with what you think is best and it might not work. Let's release them. So far, so good. There's all the new chicks right there. A lot of the existing ones are still standing really close to the gate over here and the fence near me. A key thing to note is that if there was any kind of pecking order thing going on, I'm just gonna kind of let it establish itself for a little bit. I don't wanna break anything up. I want pecking orders are meant to happen in nature. So it's not for me to tell a chicken they can't do that or they can't do this. I'll make sure that they're not gonna peck all the feathers off the chicken and make sure it's not really vicious. The new flock really sticking together, exploring what's going on here. But it's not up to me to settle what they should be doing and what they shouldn't be doing. They need to establish that themselves. So I'm gonna let them do that for a little bit as I try to go take care of something else. All right, real quick actually. We do, we've talked about our broody hen, our Americana that escaped and has been sitting on eggs in other spots, but she has not been as broody as this. We finally have our first really broody hen. Hi, chickadee. We have been making sure we take the eggs from her so that she's not sitting on them for too long. Now that we have two new roosters come in, really want her to establish that so that we can hatch out our own chicks. So I just mowed the lawn and as mowing the lawn, I made them find a common interest. They both hate it and they are both all running around like crazy. So that's a good thing. I found something for them to coexist and like together. Talking about coexisting though, look. They've all made it work. As I was cutting the lawn, 
I've watched a few times where it just looks like the other chickens that the existing flock that we had would maybe chase the other chickens, but nothing too aggressive at all right now. And I was maybe a little nervous more than my wife. Chelsea kept telling me that it's gonna be okay. Look how big they are already. A lot of times people, as soon as they get fully feathered, they start doing this encounter. I wasn't up to that challenge. I wanted to make sure that these guys would be able to kind of stand up for themselves more. That's up to you guys to figure out how to co-mingle your own chickens. But our chickens are probably, like I said, about 13, maybe 14 weeks old now. So they have some good size to them. And that's what I wanted before we put them together. And that's up to you guys if you want to wait that long or if you want to do it sooner. I felt like that gave them a stronger chance to fight back or to stand up for themselves. Another thing I think that really helps is how much they stay together in one big flock. If you were only co-putting in one chicken, two chickens to an existing flock, this could be a lot more dangerous for one chicken because it has no one else to kind of be together buddy-buddy with. These five chickens, as you can see, they're all back there right now. They're able to stick together and five of them, when only one's chasing, at least they kind of have more of a, or their own little posse to kind of stick together, if you know what I'm saying. So, so that was one of the first major steps. The second thing, what we're gonna see what's gonna happen is I'm sure we're gonna leave this open for them so they can go to sleep in their chicken tractor tonight. But if that's where they end up being, what me and Chelsea are gonna do is take them from there and bring them to this brand new coop over here. We want them all to start sleeping together, so we'll let one night where they go to choose to do this. The next night, we'll probably lock it up and see if they're gonna go in there, and hopefully it all works well. All right, see you guys later, okay? Try to sleep in the big coop. Don't go to your tractor. They're not that scary, you're okay. It'll be interesting with having two roosters right now. At what point will their kind of hormones and roosterness kind of end up standing up for themselves? Right now our hens can kind of stand up for themselves and push those guys around, but I'll be very curious to at what moment are those roosters gonna stand up for themselves and kind of get the existing flock to kind of stand back. There's two of you guys. Are the other three in here? No, hi. Well, that's weird. I see the two. I'm missing three of them. Maybe they went into the big coop. Oh, there's eight. And there's Miss Broody Girl. She's in her nesting box. So that's weird. We are missing three of our hens. So here's the two. Those are the two roosters. Huh. I found the missing chickens. <laughs> Oh, for a second I thought maybe they got loose and got somewhere that I did not know at all where they are, but they're roosting here on our deck. So they escaped. The two roosters are probably trying to figure out a way to get over here because I see a lot of movement from them. I don't know why they didn't just go into their tractor. It's kind of weird. I don't know if they don't like seeing the new chickens or what's going on and they really wanted to get out of there, but happy that I found them. But now we're going to have to bring them to the big coop. And I, they don't, they're already making noise at me. This might not go over well. <laughs> So normally, you're probably supposed to do that when they're a little more asleep. Since they were roosting out here and not as safe, the other two were freaking out, not in a safe spot. I didn't want to wait too much longer. I wanted to get them into a spot. I was debating whether to put them in their tractor or to bring them back into the coop, but we decided just to go with the coop. And there was one chicken, our Rhode Island Red Rosie, that kept pecking them as we put them on those roosting bars, probably because they were a little still awake. What I did is I just took her off and made her find a different spot so that all five of them could still be together. Now we wait for the morning and see what happens. It's the next morning. Time to see if we have 14 chickens that come out of this thing. Hopefully everyone's doing okay. Good morning, chickens. I've seen two of the new guys. Oh, 
There's another one. As expected, they're the last ones to come out. And I have two roosters in here still, I think. All right, so definitely the five new chickens. They're the ones that get chased around and they're kind of scaredy cats as it is, to be honest. So anytime any of the other chickens are really close to any of them, they like to run away. Here's three of them all together over there. The other two are in the chicken tractor and it's gonna take some time. I mean, they're gonna have to get used to each other more. And now, I mean, they've only all been open up allowed to roam here now for about probably like two hours total here in the chicken run so all in all this has all gone pretty well i just hope that the nighttime tonight goes well i think we're gonna lock this chicken tractor up and see if they go into that coop they probably won't we're gonna cross our fingers and hopefully that happens <laughs> So night number two, and I'm already seeing these little guys right here for our new flock. It looks like they are trying to get to us or at least out of the run, but they don't do that all day. But when it comes to nighttime, they're ready to get out of that run. So I don't know if with their tractor, now that it's moved, I just thought that they would at least go into their tractor, but that's not what they're doing. I'm not sure how three of them escaped last night, so I'm curious to see how they do it. All right, so now all the chickens are in bed. I'm seeing four of these guys. We may or may not have a missing chicken. I'm trying to see what's going on. I'm hoping it's roosting. Right there, there she is. So one of them is up on the roosting bar, which is a lot better than what it was last night. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping the other four can follow suit, but we'll see what happens here. Now let's just see if we count 14 of them in here. And 14. All right, good job, guys. So that's a little later than we would normally lock them up, but it, it's good that all of them went there. Only on the second night, so I can't complain with that. So I would say everything was success. Well, until next time, you guys have a great day and a better tomorrow, and we'll see you in the next one.